Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. April 21, 2021, The Spies Using LinkedIn Edition. And we begin with that story from the BBC. At least 10,000 UK nationals have been approached by fake profiles linked to hostile states. Uh, MI5 has warned users who accept such connection requests might have them luring them into sharing secrets. Malicious profiles are used on an industrial scale, and a campaign has been launched to educate government workers. And indeed, the byline is think before you link. So uh, apparently, uh, cybersecurity now reaches to your LinkedIn profile. Next up from the Wall Street Journal, a risk and compliance journal, Rob Stewart reporting, SNC Lavalin said that the World Bank granted an early lifting of all sanctions imposed against the Canadian engineering company back in 2013. The World Bank's decision to lift sanctions leveled for a 10-year period over allegations uh, SNC Lavalin bribed officials in Bangladesh in connection with bank-funded projects comes after an assessment and monitoring process by authorities at the bank. Additionally, an independent monitor confirmed that SNC Lavalin met all terms and conditions it previously agreed to, and the World Bank confirmed that it lifted its sanctions. So good news for uh, SNC Lavalin. Obviously, a very corrupt company that made a a very spectacular comeback. Um, In a compliance slash sporting story, we have from the Wall Street Journal, the Super Duper Soccer League that um, the American-owned English teams were trying to lead in Europe uh, to create uh, a wealthier playing field so they could take more money out of their investments has collapsed. Uh, Really no surprise, but it's also no surprise to me that the American owners of Liverpool and Man United would try such a power play to grab shares and create a bigger pot of pie for them by making the entire pot uh, their pot. So uh, really a revolt from all levels, from the club supporters to the uh, towns where the clubs came from, to the government, uh, Boris Johnson uh, uh, said that he would uh, personally lead the charge to uh, fight this, all the way, of course, to FIFA and UEFA, who stand to lose a lot of money if this went through. But uh, it's good to see that uh, money did not control, at least yet, so far. But the Super Duper Soccer League uh, collapses as the English clubs pull out amongst fan fury. And finally, uh, you recall the meatpacker JBS USA, who skated any FCPA issues when their parent um, had them last year, has hired a new legal chief. It's because JBS USA um, has additional antitrust issues uh, pressing in their industry, which is chicken and meat packing. It's hired Kevin Arquette, who previously served as general counsel at the FTC and director of the FTC's competition, uh, Bureau of Competition. Of course, JB. SUSA was uh, somehow skated the uh, FCPA allegations of its parent, but it was pretty clear that it had a foundational lacking compliance program and certainly internal controls and government governance. So no real surprise to see other allegations brought. But by bringing in such a high profile, now white collar defense lawyer, I think it steps up a renewed effort by JBS USA to extricate itself from the antitrust imbroglio it now finds itself in. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.